Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing this silvery purple taupey eyeshadow look. It was super easy. I only used a couple of shadows. A lot of the products that I'm using today are going to be a first impression for me. I've never tried them before. There are a couple of new things that I picked up at the drugstore that I was finally able to get my hands on. And you'll see it all upcoming in the video. So if you want to see how I did this makeup look, if you want to see my thoughts on a couple of new products, just keep watching. I'm going to take this Morphe M504 brush. This is a brand new brush. I've never used it before, and I've actually never tried this brush before. I'm going to try to use this instead of my Sigma E40, the fluffy brush I always use. And I'm going to go in with Soft Brown from MAC as the transition. This brush is supposed to be incredible, but I don't know. I've never tried it. Not that I'm looking for a brush to replace my E40. I kind of feel like I need a backup brush just in case and I want to try something different so I picked this up when I made an online order. I hate when brushes are new and you have to break them in. Does anybody else feel me on that? I don't know if this brush is as fluffy as I would like it to be because I'm kind of looking for something like super fluffy to diffuse color. This seems like it would be really good if you want a quick wash of color. I don't know. I've never even used this. This is like fresh out of the pack, so I can't really be too harsh on it yet. I've got to use it a couple times and break it in. I think at the moment it's just too new. I need to use it a couple more times, so I'm just going to diffuse the color a little more with the E40 brush. My tried and true. Not that that brush was bad. I just think it's too new. It needs to be broken in a little bit more. I absolutely hate washing my brushes just because I hate when they're so clean. Like they just don't perform the same way when they're clean. I know that's really bad, but I don't care. I'm going to take the Elizabeth Mott blending brush. This is a smaller dome blending brush and I'm going to go in with Ho from Mac. Ho. I don't know if that's how you say it. Hawks? Hoax? I have no idea. It's H-A-U-X, I think. This is more purple and it's deeper than soft brown, but I'm going to go right underneath soft brown to add a little bit more definition. Mauve. This is a mauve. That's the word I was looking for. Your girl loves her mauve colors. I'm going to take the M504, fluff these two together. I've got to break this baby in. I'm going to take my 107 blending brush from IT Cosmetics. I'm taking Makeup Geek Vintage and I'm putting this in the fold of my crease. I just want a little bit of a deeper color through this part of my eye. I'm keeping it just where my eye folds. I'm not going any higher than that. Blend everything together. I have the Palladio Crush Metallic Shadow. I've tried these before. These are really, really incredible and they're super inexpensive. I think they were like around $7. I always get these at Sally's and this is in the shade, looks like Parallax. It's just this really pretty purple taupey shadow with some shimmer in it. These are awesome. I have a couple of different colors and they honestly never disappoint. They are so inexpensive and they're like really, really metallic -y. They look so pretty. I'm going to take this all over the lid, and this is a G20 by Morphe. I like this brush to pack on metallic shadows. I'm so excited I finally got my hands on this. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Paints Metallic, it looks like, and this is in the shade Aluminum Foil. I'm so happy they named this Aluminum Foil because that's literally what it looks like. Like, it looks like foil. I've already swatched it on my hand and it looks so good. Look at that. So pretty. I'm going to take my E57 from Sigma. I'm going to pat a little bit of this on the center of the lid. Oh, yes. Oh my god, that's so pretty. 
I'm going to go back in with the Palladio shadow just on the inner and outer corner to intensify it a little bit more. The L'Oreal shadow is really intense. I don't want to blend too much because it's super creamy and pigmented. It's kind of getting silver everywhere. So I'm just going to like lightly blend it just to make sure there's no harsh lines. This liquid liner is my NYX liquid liner. It's just a black liquid liner. I'm just going to do a little line. I'm going to take the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I heard really incredible things about this mascara. Every time I went to get it, it was always sold out. The packaging is really nice. It's like heavy. This is a cool brush. It's more narrow at the bottom and thicker at the top. The brush is nice. I like that. L'Oreal mascaras are my favorite mascaras of all time. Even more than high-end mascaras. They've been around forever. I've been using them since middle school maybe? I love the L'Oreal Voluminous and the, the Power Volume, the one in the, the kind of fat black tube. Those two together are awesome too. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh my god, my lashes look like fake lashes. Oh my god, yes. I'm just going to pop on some false lashes and I'm going to get my face moisturized and primed and then we're going to move on to skin. I didn't show this on camera, but I just put a little bit of nylon underneath my brow. I finally got my hands on the Maybelline sponge. I'm so excited to try this. For first impression, it is super, super soft. It's probably as soft as a beauty blender. I'm not so sure about the shape. It's kind of like a weird shape, but we're going to test it out. And then for foundation, I have the Maybelline Better Skin. I've never tried this before, but I heard this is really good if you want like kind of like a natural satin finish. This is in the shade Nude Beige. So I have oily skin and I don't know how this is going to work for me, but I've kind of been into more of like a satin natural finish foundation. So we're going to test this out and see how this works. I don't know how full coverage this is. So I just have one pump on my hand. We'll start with that. The sponge is like so fat. It feels so weird, but it's kind of cool at the same time. It does feel really nice and soft. I like the shape to go around my eyebrows. It has this point where it just goes really like perfectly around your eyebrows, the, the edge of the sponge. I always do my eyebrows before my foundation. Sometimes I'll wipe a little bit of my eyebrow off when I go in with my foundation. I like how they did that, how they have that edge. It makes going around your eyebrows really easy. The coverage is awesome. I used about a pump and a half. It's probably medium to full coverage. I might need a little tiny bit more where my redness peeks through. The coverage is awesome. It does come off as a really natural satin finish. It does not look matte whatsoever. It just kind of looks like skin, actually. I'm just going to put a little bit more right here. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Camo. This is supposed to be a correcting pen, and I got this peach one. This is in the color Apricot, and... This is supposed to be good for correcting dark circles. I have a lot of darkness underneath my eyes, and I do like to use a corrector. I don't do it all the time, but sometimes I can see my darkness still peeking through under my concealer. I don't know anything about it. I've done no research on this, so I have absolutely no idea how this performs, but we will find out. Kind of kept it right in the corners where my darkness really shows through the most. And then I'm going to take the other side of the sponge and blend this in. I kind of look like I have a disease with these orange under eyes. And then I'm just going to go in with the love of my life, Tarte Shape Tape. I hope this covers up because this is like really orange. Not too shabby. Damn, look at that brightness. This might be a winner. Just gonna set my concealer. 
I really do like the sponge. Um, I like the texture. It's a really nice texture, but I have to say, I think I still might like the Beauty Blender more just because ha I'm having a hard time getting up in my inner corner with the concealer. It's not as pointy, but I would continue to use it because it is a really nice texture. I do like the sponge. The sponge is awesome. I'm just going to set the rest of my face with my Cover FX Translucent Matte Powder. The corrector pen, A+. Plus. It is awesome. It covered all my darkness. If you have trouble with darkness, definitely check this out. I'm not going to lie, I didn't have high hopes for it, but I am pleasantly surprised. I feel like I look so bright and awake. My camera just died without me realizing it, so I didn't film this part, but I just took a little bit of petal from Kat Von D to bake underneath my eyes. Now I'm going to take this fluffy brush and my butter bronzer that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I'm just going to bronze the perimeters of my face before I contour. As much as I like this foundation, it is too pink for me. I can see that my face looks really, really pink compared to my chest. I have more yellow in my skin tone and I don't know if this color is going to work for me. I'm just going to try to work with it, but it is really pink. I'm just taking a little bit of Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer to contour on a Morphe G40 brush. going to take this soft cheek veil. This is from Fiona Styles. I believe they're discontinuing this from Ulta. I don't know if they're discontinuing it in general or if they're just getting rid of it out of Ulta, but I don't think they carry this line anymore. Anyways, her blushes are amazing. They are so pretty and they last all day long on the skin. This is in the shade Valley. Kind of like a really light peachy tan color, if that makes sense, but this has a little tiny bit of shimmer in it, and it just gives a really nice sheen to the cheeks. Wipe away this powder underneath my eyes. I'm going to take So Hollywood by Anastasia and my Morphe M310 fan brush. I have not used this in forever. I've been stuck on my Maybelline highlight, y'all. It is so pretty. It just does everything for me I could ever want. But I was like, let's switch it up today. So I'm going back to this. This is still one of my favorites. I just found another one that I love. And to finish off the eyes, I'm just going to take a little bit of vintage on this Morphe E17. This is a new brush for me. I used it for the first time in my last video. I'm so obsessed with it. I don't know what it does to blend out the lower lash line, but it makes it so easy. And it diffuses the color really nicely. Like... My other brushes that I've used, I have a couple of different ones that I was using in the past. In the past, I just started using those like a week ago. But the ones that I was using previously, I was just never happy with the blending and it would take me like forever and a freaking day to blend. This, like you literally just lay the shadow down and you're done. It blends out your lower lash line in two seconds. I just kind of semi started using Morphe brushes. They're still new to me. I started with some eye brushes. I haven't tried a ton of their face brushes, just a handful. But I remember when I was looking up brushes to try, I don't remember who it was. It was in somebody's video. They were saying that they literally couldn't do their lower lash line without this brush. And I was like, it's just a lower lash line. Calm down. But it's so true. Like, I don't think I'll ever go back to any other brush. This brush is freaking incredible for the lower lash line. I'm honestly so glad I bought it. I'm going to take a little bit of nylon to the inner corners. I just put a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes. The mascara is absolutely incredible. My lashes look amazing. Um, I sprayed a little bit of facial spray on my face. The L'Oreal Silver Shadow did transfer a little bit. I don't know if that's just because it's super creamy and it's super pigmented. It's not that big of a deal, um, but I did notice it did transfer a little bit into my crease. For lips, I'm going to go in with Wet n Wild. This is one of their liquid lipsticks, and this is my favorite color from them. It's called Nudie Patootie. This isn't a new product for me, but the gloss that I'm going to put over top is new. 
I love this color because it's like a really pale, cool tone nude. And those are my favorite nudes, like the more cool tone brown nudes. Okay, for gloss, I'm so excited to try this. This is the Maybelline Vivid Hot Liqueur in the color Tease. And this is like another one of those really pale pink, cool tone nude shades. So I think these two together are going to be really promising. I can't wait to try this. I'm just going to put that on top. Mm, it's like this milky pink. This color is so satisfying. And that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy me doing first impressions. I love doing them. I like testing out new things, especially if they're more in the drugstore category. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if there are other things that I should try that I've never tried before. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. So there's a spider loose in this room somewhere. And we didn't get to it on time, so... He is running free. I don't know where he is, but I feel like a prisoner in my own home. My Too Faced bronzer broke. Just gonna need a moment.